Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today with an article that should come as no surprise to you at all that this is a thing, and it's from Rebel News, and it says, Fact Checkers Political Bias Exposed, 99.5% of demo demo donations go to Democrats. I was so anxious to get to the word Democrats, I couldn't say the word donations. So, this should just be obvious to anybody. I mean, you don't tend to see fact checkers on Fox News. And also, any of the fact checkers that you see on like CNN and MSNBC or ones that work for the New York Times or Washington Post, almost always tend to be wrong about the things they're fact checking, and they're only there to to essentially support their preferred candidate as opposed to actually checking the facts. I mean, go look at Daniel Dale for CNN. I mean, he was nowhere to be found for the first couple of years of uh, Joe Biden's presidency, and then all of a sudden he's back because now Donald Trump is getting indicted. So I guess they had to you know, pull him out of the basement and brush off the cobwebs from him. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this article and see what it says here. <clears throat> it's from June 14th, again, from Rebel News. And the subheading says, in an analysis conducted by the Free Beacon, that's the Washington Free Beacon, political donations from individuals identifying themselves as fact checkers were examined across the last four election cycles. This is an examination of federal campaign finance disclosures conducted by the Washington Free Beacon revealed that the entirety of political contributions from individuals identifying themselves as fact checkers, including those affiliated with organizations that profess journalistic impartiality, are directed towards the Democratic Party. And if 99.5% of those are in one direction, yeah, there's no impartiality there. I'm sorry. It says in an analysis conducted by the Free Beacon, political donations from individuals identifying themselves as fact checkers were examined across the last four election cycles it says out of the twenty two thousand six hundred eighty three dollars donated by self-identified fact checkers during that period an astonishing ninety nine and a half percent so that's twenty two thousand five hundred eighty dollars was contributed to democrats and liberal organizations so conservatives or republicans got what 103 dollars out of that <laughs> okay as in contrast, only three donations were made to Republicans. Notably, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, known for his socialist stance, received 10 times more financial support from fact checkers over the seven year period than all the combined donations to Republicans. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Does the findings challenge the claimed neutrality of prom uh, prominent fact checking organizations? Fact checkers affiliated with the New York Times and Reuters, including Cecilia Noel and Kerry Monahan, made contributions to President Joe Biden. Failed Senate Senate candidate Jamie Harrison. He was going up against Lindsey Graham, if I remember correctly, in, uh, in South Carolina and Senator Elizabeth Warren's presidential campaign. So we can see where their bias lies. It's not just even to like uh, the left it's to the far left. It says, now, well, a, fact, a Times fact checker donated three times to Warren's unsuccessful presidential bid between 2019 and 2020, while continuing to accept freelance fact checking assignments from the outlet. Similarly, Monahan, employed as a fact check producer at Reuters from 2020 to 2021, made contributions to Biden, Harrison, and Senator John Ossoff from Georgia. Funny, he won. I haven't heard a thing about anything that he's actually doing. So he just, what did he just like get the job and just kind of f off and. Whatever. It says, while both the New York Times and Reuters claim to conduct fact-checking in an impartial and equitable manner, those these organizations, along with several others, have a significant track record of erroneous fact-checks when it comes to prominent conservatives. As an example, in a fact-check conducted in 2020, the New York Times accused Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, I remember this, and of entertaining conspiracy theories when he suggested the possibility that COVID-19 originated from a Chinese research laboratory. Subsequent federal investigations have provided supporting evidence for the lab leak theory advocated by Cotton. Free Beacon provides several more examples of the so-called fact checkers who donated exclusively to Democrats and liberal organizations. And that is the end. So, yeah, I'd probably recommend going to the Free Beacon article and checking that out. And you just see how biased these fact checkers are. And I should also say that if anybody that you're, that's out there that you're seeing is calling themselves a fact checker, I would just blow them off entirely. They, they are not. Okay, they are completely biased to one end of the political spectrum. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below about this. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.